Okay, that's interesting. Um, setting the clock. He's not there. All right. Well, let's say I wrap this up here with the template creation. I've got a VM. It's DHCP fed. And uh, the network is not optimized. It's the default driver that works. But it says public. That's one problem. But also, it's a uh, gigabit. So the optimized driver that they want us to use is a different one. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down. And I actually don't technically have to shut down for changing the network adapter. Just kind of keeping it clean. Um, right click, edit settings. We're done with DVD install, so we can do that. Back in the network adapter, we're going to remove that one, and we want to add an optimized one. BMX Net 3. So this is pretty much drawing to a close my initial install of Windows Server 2012 as a virtual machine. Obviously the install was very straightforward. And as you would expect, uh, you know, more tools installed fine. The mouse is seamless. Now we're testing if the new video, excuse me, new network adapter works fine. So we're in the home stretch here on the, the very basic uh, installation and configuration of Windows Server 2012 RTM under ESXi 5.1 RTM. So assuming we get console and video here shortly, should be able to go ahead and test out that new network adapter. Okay, while we wait for video, I'm going to hit Control Escape to release my mouse. Let's click on the Summary tab. It has an IP address, and it says Tools are running. So for whatever reason, we still have blank video. Okay, we have video now. Mouse moving seamlessly in and out. How about the network adapter? MXNet 3, so that's good. DHCP, Ethernet 2, that's just normal how it enumerates them. If you rename it as you deploy from template, I believe it gets renamed anyway, so there's not much point in cleaning that up. Now it is saying public network. That's that's annoying because that has firewall implications as well. Um, so for a server and a local network in a home, you know, land here, a uh, lab, local network. Well, it's kind of an issue having this as public. I have found multiple workarounds documented out there. One that seems to work is good old hard coding of the DHCP IP. So let's start with uh, hitting Windows R. Open up the command prompt. 116. So because we're not controlling over remote desktop connection, but we're controlling over local, notice now that I've hard-coded the IP, it went, oh, I thought I saw it say private. Nope, still public. All right. Let's see if uh, right-clicking here.
clicking on system, you'll see my domain name, that it needs activation, which we'd want to do after cloning from template. And uh, remote settings. Remote settings should be on or should be set to allow remote connections. It's doing a firewall exception. And I want older RDP or remote desktop protocol connections to be compatible. So I went with a little less lockdown approach. Again, this is a lab a machine to kick the tires on. If we right click down here again, Try that again. And go to Device Manager. Let's have a quick look at Display Adapter. There it is, VMware S3. All right. Look at dates in these things. Late May. March. May, April. Okay. So we're now able to go ahead and shut that virtual machine down. Oh, never did get the clock set. So I guess I'll just go ahead and um, go back to atomic time syncing until I figure that out. And before rebooting probably makes a lot of sense to uh, try a remote desktop connection for my host machine. So I'm trying that now. And you remember the IP address? Well, we don't have to remember it. We just click on summary. And it says it right there, 116. Okay, we're in. Sure is a rather uh, black desktop, a little bit odd, but okay. So we're shutting down the VM. Because we're done creating that master template. And now we're ready to right click template and say convert to template. The bottom we watch, it's done. Now we just click here for VMs and templates and look for the thing we just created. It begins with the giant word template, ends with server 2012. So there it is. So we can just right click on it and say deploy virtual machine from this template. Okay, I gotta think of a, a decent name. That's a decent name, so that's my host name. It also tells me the operating system, so I'll keep it simple. And that's it, for this one. Same format of source. Remember, it's thin provisioned, so we don't need to fiddle with that. It's still going to be thin provisioned. And we don't want to customize it. Powering it on after cloning? Sure, that's fine. And click finished. So now very rapidly we're seeing it make a copy, a clone. Also keep in mind, uh, it's probably a good time to go ahead and click here, back on hosts and clusters, if you're more used to. And of course you can use the voice your V. Uh, web client for everything we just did as well. 
This will go very quickly on a solid state to deploy from a template like that. And then it's going to go ahead and boot up. So to get ready for that, go to the console view. So now it says completed. Took about six minutes. We should get video soon here of the console booting for the first time on this clone. There we go. So it's up. Naturally, we can um, change the screen resolution as well at this point. Okay, so there you have it. A quick look. Well, not so quick look. At Windows Server 2012. Release to manufacture build 9200. Hopefully you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.